I thought I'd bring you along to feed the birds today since I've not shown them for quite some time. You may have noticed though that we've actually moved the location of this bird feeder just because we were getting quite a lot of birds and squirrels coming to the other tree and the squirrels had quite a far way to go from the rest of the trees and it wasn't really fair for the squirrels since the cats are always around so we decided to move everything further into the trees so they've got more of a chance to get away and I'll, I'll show you what we've done Bob, what are you eating? Bob, what are you doing? As you can see the cats are always lurking so we've decided to put the bird feeder in a tree so the birds have much more chance of flying away if the cats are near and Ash also built these little platforms as well for the squirrels and they've been visiting quite a lot actually I can't see any today but I have seen them and I've actually stood here and there's been one just on that platform eating so I think it's very much appreciated and there's another one in this corner here so as you can see this is like a big bird playground for them now and it means animals like you Sulky have less chance of having a fluffy meal which is good And as normal I've just got sunflower seeds in that pot there and I've put some peanuts on that platform there and over there so it shouldn't be long before they discover it you can already hear the birds tweeting to each other to say that there's food around it's quite amazing actually because sometimes when I come out here there'll be no birds at all and then as soon as I fill the container up, you just hear like one bird tweeting and then another bird. And then before you know it, they're all here and they're all eating from the, the container. They're really quite clever. Bobby? Oh. They honestly will do anything to try and get these birds. Doing? Bobby, slow down. <laughs> Give it up. I've never really been that interested in birds or bird watching or anything like that, but being here and seeing the reward for feeding them, it's, it's really special. And yeah, I guess it's my little hobby now. So it's just really nice to feel that you're appreciated by the little animals that are around especially in the winter because I think they they do struggle with finding food so yeah it's a nice feeling <laughs> Bob can I have my glove back please what are you doing give it to me get, get off get off get off what are you doing beep beep give oh. it to me let go let go Bob! <laughs> That's mine! That's mine! That's mine! <sighs> Bob! No! What have you got? <coughs> what you got? <coughs> what is it? <laughs> I think that's a bit... <laughs> I think it's a bit big, Bob. What do you think? Hey? What do you think? Is that your stick? Is that your stick? <laughs>
I thought I'd bring you along for a little walk today and it would be nice to have some company. <laughs> this week has been a really intense week for me. I've been working overtime and concentrating so hard on everything at work and now finally it's my day off and I can decompress but yeah I'm just I'm zapped to be honest and I've just been sitting in front of the fire most of the day just like just like a potato really I've just been monging out but although it is nice to do that sometimes you know when your body just like it needs some fresh air and a nice long walk so I've gathered myself up and <laughs> I've managed to get myself outdoors and come for a little walk. I thought it'd be nice to bring you along as well. It's snowing and I think it will be like this now for at least the next two or three days. So soon it will be time for some winter activities, which I'm quite excited about. <laughs> excited for downhill skiing because that's my favourite. And yeah, it's so fun. I'm always so nervous to go skiing again because like you only get to do it a few times a year when it's snowing in winter, obviously. And you sort of feel like, oh no, what if I forgot how to ski? But it's a bit like riding a bike and you just jump on it and you off you go. So yeah, I'm really excited to do downhill skiing this year. Yeah, there's a ski resort maybe half an hour away and we've only visited it a handful of times since being here which is really sad to be honest but it's just one of those things isn't it trying to find the time to go out for a day skiing it's never it's never easy i should maybe mention as well that we actually learnt to ski in chamonix when we visited in the vans like four, three, three or four years ago. And yeah, we decided to spend the winter in Chamonix in the vans and oh, it was so magical. Chamonix is a massive ski resort for all kinds of levels and the mountains there are just, they're crazy. So we learnt to ski there and we didn't have a lesson. It was just a friend we had at the time there I guess she sort of showed us the ropes and the rest of the time it was just trial and error and there was a lot of falling down and tripping over skis and yeah all that good all the good stuff that comes with skiing but now we can ski and yeah I'm not like advanced or anything but and I can do like a normal ski slope and yeah oh I'm just really looking forward to it <laughs> So maybe I will film some of that when the time comes. What other winter activities do we do? We do cross country skiing as well, which definitely isn't my favorite. I'm still learning how to do that, to be honest. And it, yeah, it can take quite a lot out of you. But yeah, not the most confident on that. And then of course we have the snowmobile, which is more Ash's side of things, but I like to jump on the back and go for a ride sometimes, which is good fun. And of course, not really an activity, but winter walking in the forest. Love doing that. Yeah. Well, I already feel a million times better, to be honest. Getting out, getting a bit of fresh air and talking to the camera <laughs> yeah it's really made a difference I think it's so easy to get into like a, a winter funk like that when it's not so bright and it's a bit cold and you're a bit tired and you just yeah you just get into a bit of a vicious cycle with it so it's always good to go outside and get some fresh air I'm just walking to a little lake which we don't really come to that often because there's no point I suppose but it's really pretty but obviously now it's iced over and covered in snow yep 
yeah, it's just nice to sometimes visit it and see something new. It's just crazy how many like little lakes there are here in the middle of the forest. It's just here. It's like, it's quite a big one, but in terms of the bigger lakes, this is nothing. I really would like to try ice skating one year as well. So maybe this lake would be a good lake to try that on because it's quite small. You can see the little animal prints. It's always so fun to try and guess what animal it is. Sometimes it's really obvious and then other times you just have no idea. And that way is towards the village and this way is towards home and that's the way I've just come from which also leads to that way as well. <laughs> so many paths. Almost home. You can just about see our house just there. It's always nice to see a little light glowing in the far distance. I love seeing that. Home. I think I will make a nice soup for this evening. I'm thinking about making a carrot and butternut squash soup. Because we've not made that in such a long time. And I used to make a really good one as well. So hopefully I can remember how to make it. <laughs> Hi. Hi, girlie. Hi.